Contractors continue cleanup work at Nathan Hale Hall. A fire almost 10 years ago gutted the roof and caused major damage to the building below. We have a report on the reclamation of Hale Hall in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, a Maryland reservist is the new Miss USA. Bay Sox Military Appreciation Night is coming up and a couple of items from MWR. These stories and more, but first, Nathan Hale Hall, located near the parade field at 4554 Llewellyn Avenue, suffered a major fire October 20th, 2006. It's taken time, but phase one of Hale Hall's renovation is nearing completion. The six alarm fire severely damaged the roof of Hale Hall, once the home of the 902nd Military Intelligence Group. Efforts to extinguish the fire caused major water damage to the interior. In 2013, phase one of Hale Hall's renovation began with a walkthrough by the Army Corps of Engineers. We had to come through, do um, environmental testing, see uh, there was some asbestos found, mold naturally, and um, you know, different types of animals that we came across that were living in the building. Um, so that was the initial assessment, um, realizing too that some of the windows and doors were also damaged, and of course you had the uh, damage from the fire. Um, so all of that combined, uh, the team took all of that, what they assessed, came back to the drawing board, so to speak, and um, started working on you know, any type of structural requirements that were involved. After sitting unused for years, except for local wildlife, Hale Hall presented a lot of challenges for the Corps. Anytime you deal with renovation, renovations in nature, it's a challenge within itself because a lot of times you run into different site conditions. You don't know what was covered behind a certain wall that you may have to uh, mitigate. Imagine going in to a very dark building that hadn't been occupied for 10 years and starting work. So luckily the contractor had a good temporary plan to do that. However, uh, basically the, the work that will be completed by this project will help for the future project that is coming up. The phase one cleanup is scheduled to be completed this fall. So phase two is scheduled to be awarded at the end of September. Um, there is an identified tenant that will occupy the facility. So that design that's ongoing now um, will be is being designed to support the uh, requirements for the, uh, the identified tenant. For more on Hale Hall's renovation as work on phase one ends and phase two begins, stay tuned. In other news, for the first time ever in its history, the Miss USA pageant has chosen a military service member as its title holder. District of Columbia! 26-year-old Deshauna Barber is an Army Reservist, a first lieutenant assigned to the 988th Quartermaster Detachment in Rockville, Maryland. Barber served as Miss Washington, D.C. before being crowned Miss USA. For more on Barber and her big win, pick up this week's copy of our award-winning newspaper, The Sound Off. In other news, the Bowie Bay Sox are hosting this year's Fort Meade Military Appreciation Night on Friday, June 24th. The Bay Sox are making more than 2,000 tickets available to the Fort Meade community. The tickets will be distributed by MWR. We'll let you know how as soon as we can. The game starts at 7 p.m. with the first pitch this year being thrown out by Garrison Command Sergeant Major Rodwell Forbes. That's the Bowie Bay Sox Fort Meade Military Appreciation Night, Friday, June 24th. In other news from MWR, a couple of notes from Leisure Travel Services. They're now open Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for ticket sales only. Leisure Travel recently moved to 6530 B York Avenue. That's just across the street from Club Mead. If you have any questions, give them a call at 301-677-7354. LTS also wants you to know that they now have Six Flags America tickets available. They have discounted tickets for daily and seasonal passes, parking passes, and meal vouchers. Once again, for any questions, call Leisure Travel at 301-677-7354. A final hiring reminder from Gaffney Fitness Center. They're looking for lifeguards and water safety instructors. You can apply online at USA Jobs. For more information on the lifeguard and water safety instructor positions, call Gaffney Gym at 301-677-7916. And that's all for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead week. I always loved running. You get to spend some time outdoors and not on a treadmill. Sure, it gets pretty hot in the summer, especially in the afternoons. I figured, why bring water with me if I could just get something to drink when I got home? I didn't even feel the dehydration coming on. Now it's left me sick for days. Know the signs. Know what's right. Do what's right.